help us have hope, right? Before Crystal tells us um, her story, she was an abducted child, abducted by someone the family knew, but she was returned to mommy. Mom, what are you listening to? You got a second chance. I mean, your child was returned. And, and as we're hearing that many children are returned, we certainly don't want to alarm everyone. We certainly want to make people smart. But what do you say to parents as you're listening? Or That they should have lots of hope and keep praying and just keep looking. There's always somebody out there that's going to help you. Mm -hmm. And they, I've also often heard the old statement, and, and, and Walsh, maybe you can help us with this. I've often heard that statement that, my goodness, we can find a lost car, a lost bicycle, a lost boat quicker than we can a lost child. Well, uh, there are a lot more tools these days than there were 14 years ago, and, and, and I think it's right. Don't ever give up hope. I say to parents all the time, don't ever give up hope. We do get children back alive. We get kids that are very street smart. Knowledge is really important. We've had kids get to phones that have been abducted and dial 911. 911 isn't everywhere, but if you just dial 911 and say, I'm a missing child, most 911 uh, operators have a tracing mechanism and can trace back where that call came from. So I, I truly believe that knowledge is power, that we really have to empower children with lots of rules of safety. We have to also empower them with rules that if they are kidnapped, what they can do, what they need to know. We got back a little girl on America's Most Wanted. It was a wonderful story, but you know what? She didn't know her area code. She got to a phone mm. several times and tried to call a number. No one ever told her about 911. A viewer called up and we got the little girl back alive, but it was very frustrating because she said, you know, my parents never discussed how to make a long distance phone call wow. or, how to, or how to dial the operator or how to dial 911. I'm, but, looking, I'm looking at my parents here shaking their head going, that's one we forgot, you know, yeah. that, that the little things like that do make a big difference. Any things, any other little tips like that that you well, could now, tell us? Uh, John well, mentioned that. <clears throat> Let me just address this. My foundation has worked with a company to develop a card that allows parents to pre-code speed dial numbers into a prepaid calling card so that children can dial an 800 number and then they can dial star one to get home star two to get dad's office star three to get mom's office star four to get grandmother so that they can access their parents without having to memorize uh, numerous phone numbers mm -hmm. Seth so, you were about to say something what I you? hope my mic is working a little it's better working now. better now go on you know it reverts back to the parents as far as education to tell their children what to do in different situations but it also reverts back to the parents and the parents have a responsibility to watch their children mm -hmm. I remember being on a foot post as uh, being on patrol when I first became a police became a police officer and standing there and watching a mother drive up to a supermarket get out of the vehicle with the vehicle running leave the car mm -hmm. with a child in the child seat and go into the store yeah mm -hmm. and something said in my in my head you know I should hop in the car and drive around the that's corner right with the child. that's right of course I didn't yeah. but <laughs> That's it, a good thing, officer. <laughs> she's making it very easy for someone that it was yeah. that opportunity for them to take a child. What's easier than a child left in the and car in and a, jump in the car? In a big a city, walk. it happens a lot. Maybe at the local shopping center, it happens. I've covered stories, I remember, in the streets of New York City with parents doing that. Bob Stuber, who has written a book entitled Missing Stranger Abduction, Teaching Your Child How to Escape. He's also the founder of Kid Watch, which produces videos on kids' safety. And you have some tips for us. The worst case scenario, your child does get abducted. What can that child do? Right. In the worst case scenario, like, like you said, that's when the child is gone. Somebody has to start making decisions and make them very fast. It's not over yet. The child is gone. They're in the grasp of a predator. And you're telling me that that kid can save their own life? Absolutely. How can they do not that? We'll find out right after this. Let's find out right after this. Listen up, parents and kids, right after this. Okay? We'll be right back.